Hi, my name is Alex Friedman. I'm the chef owner of Pachin International Bistro and Pub, located on Highland Avenue in the Old Fourth Ward near downtown Atlanta. I got my first job when I was 14 years old. I was a prep cook and dishwasher at a small short order restaurant in my hometown of Plainfield, Indiana. And I have never had another job in my entire life other than working in restaurants. So now, over well, 16, 17 years, I'm working in kitchens. I'd say a braising pan is my favorite tool. Um, it's similar to a crock pot you'd use at your house, except instead of it plugging in, it's used on a stove top and finish in the oven. And it's for taking pieces of meat that are normally unedible, so you could just throw on a grill, and you slow cook it for a long period of time. And I think that's a really, actually the art form of cooking is to take something that normally you wouldn't be able to eat and make something fantastic out of it. I went to the Johnson of Wales, I went to the Charleston, South Carolina campus. I graduated in 2001. Um, fortunately, that campus is no longer there. They've since consolidated that campus and the Norfolk, Virginia campus together. Now they have a giant hub in Charlotte, North Carolina. There's no better way than to spend an evening with good friends, you know. I mean, in this day and age, we spend, and especially in a city like Atlanta, we spend so much time going out. You know, we go out to the bars to meet our friends, we go out to the restaurants to meet our friends, we go out to the clubs to meet our friends, but, you know, inviting six or eight or ten people over to your house and just cooking a great meal, cracking open a couple bottles of wine, or drinking some, you know, really nice high-gravity beers, and just sitting around and chatting, playing some board games, it's really a good way to spend an evening. I think that uh, that question goes along ties in very well with the question beforehand. I think that all the best things that have happened in my life, and along with a lot of the worst things that have happened in my life, um, any major events, any major life-changing things, have all happened around food. You know, you meet friends over food, you fall in love over food, you know, you uh, get good news and bad news at the dinner table, um, you know, families sitting around together, um, friends sitting around together. I think the entire act of breaking bread um, is just a, a way of connecting people together brings out the best of people.